block we're going to go over is ghetto boxing. First pack parts of ghetto boxing I'm going to go over is the straight and the cross. With the straight, number one thing that you need to do is keep your, your mouth closed and your chin tucked. If you just right now just keep your mouth open and your chin up and just hit yourself, you'll feel the vibrations from your chin to your jawline to your brain. Now close your mouth, tuck the chin, do the exact same thing, and the absorption goes through your neck to your traps. This is why you tuck your chin to stop from that knockout. Now we're going to go over the straight and the cross. Joe, go ahead and put your guard up. With your straight, number one, we want to keep on our toes and we're going to push off of our back foot. So the first thing that I'm going to do is bring my body in between the straight. Also with your straight, again, it's not like boxing. Boxing, we're not going to sit around and jab this cat because we have about 20 seconds. A, a long street fight is 20 seconds. So you want to do as much damage as possible. So you're going to put your strongest lead forward, whatever that is. If you're left-handed, put your left hand forward. If you're right hand, put your right hand forward. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to come with my strong lead, which is my right. I'm going to push off my back to bring my body behind this punch. So if I'm here, I'm going to push off and move in. And that's just doing it without the punch. I'm just showing you my body mechanics. I'm coming in, bam, chin tuck, hands up, coming in, slide. Once I throw this in, I'm going to come in, bam, and give him the, the punches coming up under the chin. Come back up here, Joe. Put your guard up. My punches go bam, bam, moves them back, opening them up for the cross. Let's come back. First thing we want to do again, crowd, put the body behind it, snap it, bam, move in, close the distance, bringing them back up. The reason I'm bringing them up is because my next uh, tool will be the cross. Now, when I'm throwing this punch, I'm keeping this hand up. Once I throw this straight, move them up, I'm targeting the throat area. Well, my next, let's go so another angle so you can see from different angles. If I'm here with my straight, bam, I'm moving in, closing the distance, pushing off my back foot, keeping my chin tucked. I'm here, I'm inside, bam, moving in. Now, once I, once I close this and Joe gives me an autonomic response and showing his, ch his chin going up, I'm opening him up, bam, so I can close his windpipe, strike right to the throat. Again, I don't care how many neck exercises a cat is doing, he can sit here and do this all day, but his throat is not going to get buff. So once we drop this cross into the throat area, we're cutting off his wind. Cutting off his wind is going to make him grab his throat, and then we start to do other things to him. And it's a lovely thing when you start playing the cat like a funky piano. So first, you go in here, bam. Come back. Bam. Then I'm coming back with that cross. When I throw this cross, I'm, going, I'm keeping my hand up and I'm dropping it right to the throat. I'm going to give you again the cross, another angle. So here, bam, bam. Again, bam. Coming in swiftly, targeting the throat, cutting this cat's circulation and his air off so we can get to the meat of the problem, which is playing him like a piano and going, doing other things to the body and working him, working him good. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.